Hi, my name is Bruno Mateus. I've done a video a couple of months ago regarding Drupal 7, the pictures module, and how to use it to get responsive and adaptive images. The video has been uh, um, pretty su successful. People have been uh, sending very nice comments, so thank you very much. Um, what I want to do on this video is actually to display a small side effect that I've stumbled upon while using this technique for myself. So, uh, I'll leave the link below of the previous video in case you need to, to know the technique. Um, in here I'll just display the, what I've stumbled upon. So everybody, um, so the, 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 the pictures module and the responsive and adaptive system uh, creates this effect on the images. So on this size, it provides me an image with this dimension and this file size. And if I see it on a full screen, and I analyze the picture again, the image that is served to me is actually of a different dimension and of a different file size. This, of course, if you see it on a really small screen, like a mobile device, it will make much more sense, as you have much less data to download, and it will improve communication. Now, we can actually use this um, you know, the system works on the following way instead of using the regular image renderer of Drupal when you install the pictures module it actually recreate it will render through the pictures module allowing for different image styles to be used according to the file to the width of the browser and as such we can actually uh, mess up with the image styles and we can recreate different image sizes to, to what our content sees fit. So let's say that for this main page, uh, let me use here a different, uh, different image. Yeah, this image is far too high, uh, too tall, sorry. My English is not that good. Um, this image is just a, a little bit too tall for my template. So I want to have a controlled height in here. So what we'll do, we'll just do it as usual, go to image styles, and I'll use the, um, the style that I'm using on, for that size. So let me just uh, refresh. On the pictures module, I'm using for the desktop size, the desktop uh, image um, style. So I'll go here to the desktop image style. And okay, so in here I have an instruction saying, um, pick up an image and scale it to a width of 960 pixels wide and but leave as tall as it as it is we won't you, we don't want that so we'll just scale and crop let's maintain the same width uh, 960 and let's give it a 500 pixels height just to have it a bit more controlled we'll delete the previous one yep and we'll update the style it won't be much of a change, it should be enough. Yeah. So now the picture is served. And if we go to a different one, yeah, now it fits the, the bill. If we go downwards, it will show the, the other previous styles uh, as they were previously done. This can actually work in our favor. Let's say real estate on a mobile phone is much different. Uh, it's much more precious than on a desktop, probably because there's much less of it. So what we can do is we can go here to the image styles and let me go here to the narrow, uh, which I'm using for a width of 461 pixels. And I'll come here and I say, okay, that picture will have actually a totally different dimension. Let's say that I want to transform it into an almost, um, almost narrow uh, strip of, of image, like uh, 90 pixels tall. Just to illustrate the, um, the post, for instance. Uh, might be useful sometimes. It's a, not, uh, it's a, de a design decision, but it, I'll show you later on a real case that it helped me. So this would create the image like this, and then when it reaches 461 pixels, it will actually be like this size. And it does make sense. So that big picture, which is which was very tall, 
just became a strip of image when you're post when you're reading the post and of course maybe you can click and display it differently uh, you can use this for several purposes it, you can actually just create a small uh, thumbnail and then the text flows flows around it it, it might have any uh, might fit any size in the every any aspect that you want you can also change colors for instance uh, you can if you use this uh, let's go to the narrow again if you use this kind of effect like the desaturate effect you can add it to it so yeah you'll have a different look in on this size and then when you reach that size it will have uh, it will use those other effects um, I'll show you now this is a real website that I'm designing um, so please uh, uh, I'll be gentle with it okay it's still under development and I'll show you here um, I'm, there's an, a, a blog area and um, this site is using Drupal and is using all of those modules and when you enter one of the a blog it displays you a previous article and the next article, right? So if you start to reduce all of this, um, what's happening is there's a, a, a stage where I think it would be easier. Let me just refresh because it actually has some JavaScript. Uh, if you have it on a mobile device, you, you begin reading to it and then you'll have here two different ways of showing it. Uh, of course, if you see it on a real mobile device, this was uh, this is actually for a tablet. And if you see it on a mobile device, I actually discard the pictures and I just leave it like it is. Uh, I believe it's much easier for a mobile device to be like this. So I just discard the pictures. But when you are in a portrait, uh, um, uh, in a, in a portrait uh, tablet, it can actually be uh, kind of just enough fun to have it in a different way. So, but if you see it on a desktop, let me move it to the other side. You'll see it just like a small thumbnail. The in here, this is where the the beauty of Drupal begins to to display. So this is a simple, um, it's a simple blog post, and it just picks up the first image, and uses the first image to display on the view, and then again as an article to uh, as a. a, a uh, a jump start to other places and um, in here we can actually see how this kind of module can be used in a different way not just to have responsive and adaptive pictures but also to use it creatively to other areas i hope you've enjoyed it and leave a comment below thank you so much